What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve a formula for a specific variable, okay? And it works basically the same way with just when you have numbers and variables. So I wanna do a quick example just so you can see how they work the exact same way. Let's say we had something like 2x is equal to six. And I told you solve for x. How would you do that right here? Well, if we want to solve for x right here, that just means we want to isolate it by itself on one side of this equal sign, right? So if I want to isolate it, that means I have to get rid of this 2. And since we're multiplying, in order to get rid of the 2, I need to divide by 2, right? And what you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other. Okay, so then these 2s cancel out, the one on the top and the bottom. So then on this side, we're just left with x. And this is equal to, right, equal to 6 over 2, which if we wanted to, we could just leave it like this as 6 over 2, or we could simplify this to just 3. Either one of these would work. Okay, now let's say you were given a formula where you were just given variables. And for an example, let's try the distance, time, and rate formula, which is the distance is equal to the rate times the time. Okay, and in this example, let's say you were asked to solve, let's say you're asked to solve for t. Okay, we're gonna solve for t right here. Well, if we wanna solve for t, that means we want to isolate t by itself on one side of the equal sign. Okay, so if we wanna get t by itself, that means we need to get rid of the r right here, right? And again, since we're multiplying right here, in order to undo the multiplication, I need to divide and I need to divide by whatever I'm trying to get rid of, which would be the r, right? And whatever you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other. Okay, so you basically treat this the exact same way that we treated this problem up here, right? If you're trying to get rid of something, so up here we were trying to get rid of the two, so we divide by two. Down here we're trying to get rid of this r, so we divide by r, right? And then as you can see, we have an r on top and on the bottom, so those cancel out. So then on this side of the equal sign, we're just left with t right here. Okay, so t. And then t is equal to, it's equal to d over r, or d divided by r, right? d over r. Now, these are just variables, so we can't simplify them anymore, okay? Because d over r, that's the same thing as this part right here when we got 6 over 2. 6 over 2, though, we could obviously simplify to 3. But here, d over r, again, they're just variables, so we can't simplify those anymore. So then this would be your final answer right here. Okay, so then t would be equal to d over r. Okay, let's try one last example. And for this example, let's use the area of a triangle, which is the area is equal to 1 half the base times the height, right? Okay, and let's say we were asked to solve for, uh, in this case, let's do h, okay? Let's solve for h here. Now, if I wanna solve for h, that means I have to isolate it by itself on one side of the equal sign, right? So that means I have to get rid of this fraction and I have to get rid of the b, okay? So first of all, let's get rid of the fraction right here. Now, how do you get rid of fractions? Well, all you have to do is multiply by the reciprocal. So here I have one over two, so I'm gonna multiply both sides by two over one. 2 over 1. But the thing is, 2 over 1, that's the same thing as just 2, right? 2 divided by 1 is just 2. So instead, I'm going to simply multiply by 2 on both sides. Okay? Now, simplifying some things, uh, this 1 half is going to cancel out with this 2 right here. And then, uh, let's simplify this. So 2 times a, that's just 2a. And then that's equal to uh, b times h, right? That's all we have left right here, b times h. Okay, now we just need one more step. We just need to get rid of this b. And in order to do that, I'm going to divide by b. And again, what you do to one side, you do to the other, right? So then these b's right here are going to cancel out, right? And then on this side of the equal sign, I'm just left with h. Okay, so then h is equal to 2a over b. 2a over b, okay? So then, again, these are just variables, so you can't simplify them anymore, so then this would be your final answer. 
So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.